So I guess the question is, if I had a time machine and I could go back four years, would I still choose SCAD? What's up? It's Key. Welcome or welcome back. Here's my social media if you want to follow me on there. My Instagram is super fun. You should also check out my last video where I took you guys thrifting with me. So. I know you see the title of this video, so we're just going to get it popping, but I'm going to start off with a few disclaimers. First disclaimer, um, I wrote a couple of things down just because when I go back and edit, I really hate when I had something to say and I forgot to say it or I didn't say it. So if you catch me looking down, that's why. Second, most important disclaimer, this video is my opinion, not fact. It is my experience from SCAD. Um, I don't know what else to say on that. Um, when I said that I was going to film this video, a couple of people were like, ooh, tea, ooh, burn. But like, it's just my opinion. I'm just a girl full of dreams, um, boba, caramel macchiatos, and sometimes unsolicited opinions. So that's all this video is. Um, take it as you may. Um, and my last disclaimer is just in full transparency i hope you guys watch this video enjoy this video get something out of it but um i probably will never talk about scat again just because i'm moving on this is a new chapter of my life which is what i want to share with you guys so um i don't know i don't think i ever really wanted to talk about this school in the first place you can go back and see my first video and i was like first and foremost i'm a fashion designer i just finished my degree in uh school also i know i just kind of like hopped on here and like i'm a fashion designer now so uh this is gonna also serve as my origin story i love a good origin story when i'm watching like an anime or like a marvel movie or something like when they do that episode i'm like oh just leave me there like i love knowing where people's backstories are so um this kind of gives you some context to this channel my first couple videos on so just to jump right into it if there's good news and bad news i'm someone who likes the bad news first so let's start with the bad just to get the forty thousand dollar elephant out of the room you already know, the school is expensive. Um, there is a reason for that, which I will get into in the good column, but I mean, get prepared to have two jobs, tell your parents to get another job, take out some loans. All jokes aside, a lot of people do have to take like a quarter or two off just to like work and actually be able to afford the school. So that's something I hate to see. It really hurts my feelings when, you know, a friend or someone I know that's super talented just simply cannot afford such a ridiculously expensive school my second and probably biggest point on the con side is just the feeling that scad has like and this point has like an umbrella of points so i'll explain what i mean by feeling is that it feels more like a business rather than a school they take really young uh i knew i wanted to go to scad from the seventh grade and you cannot imagine how excited I was. Um, I toured when I was about 17 and I'll put a clip in here. I apologize in advance because 17 year old Kira was so annoying. We're up really early. It's time. And I'm about to get dressed. This is everything that I brought for just two days that we're gonna be here. I'm sorry y'all, I really just cannot deal with my voice past this, but my point is that I was young and really excited, <laughs> excited enough to narrate and vlog every single thing that I was seeing. Um, everything was new and everything was exciting. They always talk about their 99% success rate and so I was going in thinking, you know, this is the best start the best school for my future and i think they really push that they push it enough for young people to be so like i thought of this as like disney world like i was so excited just to be there and to be around art and to be around creative and successful people and i think i mean that's in all of their commercials so clearly they're doing something right right 
I mean, young people are seeing these commercials and getting so excited, as I did, and getting so gung-ho about their future and about SCAD. They have this Shooting Stars program where even younger people, you know, middle school kids can go and um, see what the school is about. And like I said, it's a business, so I understand, but it's just like a little, a little bit exploitive feeling. But they take young, really impressionable people who have talent, who have a dream, and they kind of show them this picture of their future and what they can do for it. I feel like they've repackaged that and then put a pretty bow on top and sell it to you. So once you're, dude. So that's definitely something you feel after you get there, you dust all the welcome confetti off and you know, you start your classes. Um, jumping into the next umbrella point of this, of it not feeling like a school, there's really no time for anything other than school. And I mean, it makes you better, but it also has some like, it can get a little, you know, dark sometimes when that's something that you've loved since you were a child and you did it for fun. And now you're doing it for someone to grade you on it. And you have like this fast to do it. Um, that's something that kind of like, overwhelms you at first i think you get used to it it is what the industry is like kind of i mean this is what childish thing that you love to do kind of pulled into an industry setting i feel like that's what it prepares you for um so just literally be prepared prepared for that and those long nights of working non-stop kind of messes with your mental a little bit which scad has done a lot better of a job than when i first got there um with their counseling services so they do have um counseling services but those counseling services are for a reason so from jump from day one i had um like 80 60 to 80 sketches due like the next class and i wrote in my journal i was like i'm going to die i'm not gonna make it here like look for a new school now i was like talking to my future self but um yeah like from the beginning you're kind of plunged into this like non-stop work environment which at the end of the day it does make you better we are on a quarter system so there's really no time for anything else so um i just i personally wish that i had more of a college experience i don't think i would have gone to like the games or like any of that kind of stuff but homecoming stuff like that like i have to go maybe an hour away to kennesaw to go to my friend's homecoming or you know etc so there's not really like a college campus vibe feeling um so if that's something you want maybe think about a different option right in the middle of my con sections i want to just say that i'm someone who has watched these videos a lot before um i made my decision to come to the school so i don't think this is gonna sway you either way because clearly i mean i went all four years so i think that i'm someone that just likes to experience what other people say for myself well i know that i'm that kind of person so you can tell me all you want to but i'm still gonna go try to figure it out for myself so i hope you're gonna be the same way <laughs> these last two points aren't necessarily bad they're just kind of like funny but um you get into this kind of art bubble scene so the school is in the middle of midtown but i mean there are artsy people in midtown so what i mean by that is you can go outside of the school go to like a friend's party at georgia state or whatever and your jokes just don't land the same like <laughs> No one knows what the hell you're talking about and it's kind of funny but it's kind of like lonely sometimes when you go back to your high school friends and you're like yeah so like the perspective and the line quality and the color quality and they're just like what? Nobody at Scat looks at you twice when you have blue hair and like parachute pants and like a mesh see-through top but like try and go outside if you want to. There have been like many a time where I come back home um, to the suburbs and I'm like let me change real quick because this beret um skater sticker combo they're not gonna get it but yeah the art bubble it's kind of easy to get into this place where 
you're thinking as an artist and everyone around you is thinking as an, as an artist, which is great 90% of the time. But um, just realistically, it doesn't always work that way. So just be aware of that. Um, the art bubble is a real thing. This last con is just, like I said, a funny thing that my introvert itself, like, uh, it got on my nerves. But everyone's an artist, like I just said. But there are some people who are like, this is shade. <laughs> there are some people who are like the up and coming artists. And you have to be like, okay, Bob, sit down. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're all there for a reason. So it's like, we're all kind of starting at base level, but some people are just like, in their heads, they are so not humble and it just makes you laugh sometimes, but that's it. There is good news though. So the best thing, the first thing I noticed when I got there was that there are people like you. Like in high school, I would walk around with these outfits on. I may insert pictures, but I may not, um, that I made myself. And nobody really, I had no one to talk to about it. I had no one that like got me. And then I got to school and I felt like, I said like the first month that I was there, I felt like I was at Hollywood Arts um, on Victorious. So there are people like who love Frank Ocean and who like watch the same movies and shows that you watch. And it's so cool to just like kind of bounce ideas off of each other and like feed into that um, chaotic, artistic vibe another thing is like i just said there are so many people like you and there are so many people trying to go in the same direction that um you are going in so you can network it's so easy to make connections i'm a fashion designer but i can make photographer connections i can make graphic designer connections for everything that i need i can't tell you how many times that i hopped on somebody's project who's like an animator and did like a voiceover and it's just fun um like your friends are always gonna help you you can reach out to people who you see who are talented and make friends that way it's just really cool to kind of be in that um art bubble the artistic environment and kind of like bounce ideas off of each other and feed off of each other's energy so this is where your tuition comes in the professors the professors are amazing most of the time um, and they are from the industry, so they know what they're talking about. People who actually have worked in fashion, who have been in Vogue, taught me. Like, I thought that was the coolest thing. So that's what you're paying for, really. And then, like I said, connections. They can recommend you internships. They know people who are still in the industry, and sometimes that's their, like, side hustle job. That They're still in the industry, so they can recommend you stuff through there and they bring in people for guest lectures who are still in the industry so people who are working currently come and speak to us come skype in it's really cool to like be able to ask people questions who are currently working in the position that you want to be working in get advice um get their stories sometimes their horror stories it's really cool also you get a digital package which includes adobe suite a bunch of other stuff that you would normally have to come out of pocket for um included in your tuition there's a whole room called the tech room where there's nothing but sewing equipment and supplies and there's something like that for every department so the photo department has something like that the graphic design department the uh, illustrators and animators they all have their set of equipment that normally would cost thousands and thousands of dollars um, but it's included in our tuition package so that's really what you're paying for and it's really amazing also lastly i just want to mention my favorite event is called atv fest so that's when um new shows are coming out pilots of shows are coming out and actual celebrities come and we can speak to them in full panels we can view the um show or movie before it comes out and that's because scad has so many connections that reach back out and kind of offer whatever they have 
um, people who have gone to SCAD graduate and work within the industry and that's how they, you know, come to our school, come back to our school and are able to speak with us. So I guess the question is, if I had a time machine and I could go back four years, would I still choose SCAD? I'm not exactly sure how to word this, but I guess the short answer is yeah. I think I got all of the knowledge that I needed out of SCAD. I made all the connections that I needed to out of SCAD. But if I could take the resources, the networking, the friends, the professors, and put it in a university setting, no question, 100%, absolutely I would. Um, I just feel like I missed out a lot my last four years on being able to be a kid, being able to be a young adult um, and have an actual college experience. I see everybody else kind of living <laughs> their best life in college and I don't feel like I got that. Um, maybe it's my fault that I didn't kind of like make college what it was. Um, and don't get me wrong, I had some of the best, best, best times and the best years um, but it's something that I made up myself, I think. Um, I don't think that SCAD kind of facilitates a university setting. It's, like I said, it feels like a business. It feels like you're there to work and it feels like you're there to give them your tuition money. Chances are, if you clicked on this video, you wanted to know more about your future and what school you're gonna go to so i just wish you the best of luck i think if you made it to the end of this video you're already a beast you're already the one that's like taking your future into consideration and trying to figure out the most that you can out of where you should go so i just wish you the best of luck i know you're gonna kill it in either way if you choose this school or not but um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye um, put a pretty bow on it and sell it to you. Somebody's... Stop! Once you're... Dude! Where... <laughs> this video is... <laughs>